Hello, this is Geo Techland, and today I'm going to be taking a look at Pop OS 21.10, which was recently released. There's not a whole lot that is new here, but what is new is pretty interesting. The main major update here is the applications overview. When you click on show applications, this window appears. Instead of taking up the entire screen, it kind of condenses things a little bit. And it's also got the folders here in the bottom, which I think makes it a lot more user friendly, especially if you're just a newcomer to Linux and you don't really know what are some of the commonly used apps or even what some of the pre-installed apps are even for. Organizing it this way is very helpful. Of course, I've updated from a previous version, so it actually saved some of my folders like emulators. I created it myself. I'm not sure if Office was created by Pop OS. I think it might have been created by them. And they have a couple Steam games there. And then System, Utilities. So it's nicely organized here. I have mixed feelings on this little window though. I don't think it's a bad thing, but I kind of wonder if it would look nicer if it did do the overview, but maybe just push this bottom part up more. And I st still think it would have looked nice, but I don't think it's bad at all. It's just different than what I'm used to with a, a GNOME based desktop. But that is the interesting thing. Recently, Pop OS announced that they'll be moving towards creating their own desktop. I mean, they've already got their own sort of layout here with this cosmic desktop, but they're actually planning on building a desktop that is not based on GNOME, although it might still be using GTK. And the programming language of choice would be Rust. So that's also very interesting news with Pop OS here. A couple other differences is that this panel here now is a bit more rounded. And honestly, I think it looks nicer with these rounded corners here. For a kernel, it looks like we've got version 5.15.5. And then for the Mesa version, we got 21.2.2 there. Now, if we take a look at their blog post, you can get a better idea of what else is different. Like they've also announced that they have a Pop OS 21.10 version for the Raspberry Pi 4, which is currently still in beta. And I'm planning on releasing a video on that soon. So stay tuned for that. They talk about the latest hardware support. Also did introduce a more intuitive refresh OS feature. Your system will now recognize when Pop OS is installed from the recovery partition and offer the refresh OS option prior to unlocking an encrypted drive. And the other interesting thing, especially in terms of Pop OS becoming more independent and maybe less reliant on Ubuntu and GNOME, is the fact that they're moving away from PPAs and instead will be hosting their own infrastructure or software versions. So that's pretty interesting. Oh, and then speaking of GNOME, this desktop in particular is still based on GNOME. So if we take a look at their settings and go to About, we'll see here that it's based on version 40.4. But otherwise, that's pretty much it in terms of updates. It's definitely going to be interesting to see what the future of Pop OS with the Cosmic Desktop is going to look like. I'm excited for what they'll be doing with Rust and GTK and just their view or vision for a desktop environment. And of course, I'll be covering that when it happens. But let me know your thoughts. Do you like this new show applications overview with this latest version of Pop OS? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like my video, please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you all next time. If you're enjoying my video, you can subscribe to me on YouTube, PeerTube, follow me on Odyssey. You could also support me on LibraPay, Patreon, and by shopping at Earth Hero. See links in the description below.